Hello, welcome to Bourbon Forge Fishing. I'm excited about this review. I've got this guy. I'm not going to open it because I've got samples, yo. Heaven Hill 17 and Heaven Hill 18 together united as one as they should be. We're going to test these guys out and see which one I like more. Um, I owned the Heaven Hill 20. It was pretty good. It wasn't crazy. Like uh, a lot of people thought it was a disappointment from the 17. Uh, I had it. I didn't think it was like crazy good or anything, but but nice. Um, I've had a few sips of the 17. It definitely seemed substantially better. So the 18 is going to be closest to me. 17 is going to be on my left, furthest away from the the uh, the box here. That's crazy. There is like a burnt cigarette butt, like an ashtray smell to this. That's really weird. There's a typical Heaven Hill. There's a little bit of the, the nut, obviously peanut forward. Doesn't smell particularly sweet. This is the 17. It seems like there's, it, when I'm smelling it, it smells like complexity of smokiness and maybe some spice, but a lot of variances of tobacco and smokiness. Along with, of course, there's the peanut, um, like honey peanut kind of vibe that you get from Heaven Hill, like the candy bar. Disclaimer, my favorite Heaven Hill products are just legit like candy bar, like payday Snickers. Like anytime Heaven Hill gets to that level, um, I, I generally tend to like the B um, Elijah Craig's, which are nutty and peanut buttery. And Okay, so the 18 right away, not as smoky. The, it, there's tobacco-iness there, but it's not like a burnt cigarette. It's like a tobacco leaf, like an undried one almost even. Much richer, all right, much richer. A lot more darkness, a lot more depth. So more caramel, more vanilla popping up here. There's a little bit of nuttiness, but the caramel and vanilla seem very dominant. But the tobacco. Now back over to the ashtray. Wow, that actually smells like an ashtray, like skunky. Like a, that's really crazy. So on the nose right away, I like the 18. It's it's a richer, desserty, like richer, caramelly, vanilla-y, more depth, more darkness, more richness, more candivar candivarian vibes. This is more like peanuts with white sugar on it. And then, and just flick, and uh, literally, I'm not even making this up. Flick a cigarette, you know, as the ash burns out. Flick the cigarette on the, the, uh, the peanuts that have white sugar on them. And I think there's some some orchard fruitness too, like some apple pear. Okay, let's go in for the palate. Hmm. <clears throat> Beautiful finish. Hmm. Finish definitely goes on. Wow. Mm. Finish is still going. Great finish on that. Mm. Yeah, definitely pick up a little bit of orchard fruit, but the dry peanut with like white sugar on it is very dominant. Then there's some tobacco and vibes going on. Wow, that finish on that 17 is insane. Still going. Mm. The malt is there. The malt's delicious yeah, on the finish. Let's go in for the second sip. Okay, Heaven Hill 17. A mixture of light peanut, like not heavy like Jack Daniels peanut, light peanut, white sugar, pear apple, literal cigarette ash in there, and some spiciness showing up in the front. Those are, those are the dominant things I'm picking up. We'll go do two drinks over on the 18 and Okay, now after drinking that, this is so much lighter. This reminds me more of an Elijah Craig C. If you like Elijah Craig C's, you probably like this. And this smells like an Elijah Craig A. The Elijah Craig A tends to be very candy, very caramel, very vanilla. My favorite is actually the B, because the B you get caramel, candy, and a lot of peanut. So you get that, like I said, candy board. But this reminds me of a A batch. So Heaven Hill 18, let's go down the chute. Slightly higher proof and a year older. Okay, so in the beginning to the mid, way better. Way better, deeper, darker, caramel, vanilla-y, well, you say maybe honey-ish, like dark, deep, chocolatey. Again, more of a candy bar experience. The end of the mid is not as strong. It turns into this kind of tobacco experience. 
like spices and tobacco, and the sweetness goes away. It would have been really nice if the sweetness could have maintained. There's more spice in this, like the proof, the tingling in the mouth, the proofs are basically the same, but there's a way more like spice in this, barrel spice. Okay, we're gonna cut. I'm gonna go back and forth a little bit. Um, so yeah, this is really strong in the in the front with, that, with the caramel and the vanilla into the mid. And then the mid, it kind of putters out. It kind of goes into a sweetness is gone and it's a tobacco spice thing and the malt finish. The finish isn't as good and the mid isn't as good. I'm gonna go back and forth here a little bit. I'll come back and give you my final analysis. Okay, criticisms. There's ashiness here. In the 17, there's bitterness on the 18, which is not my favorite. I actually now don't necessarily think this finish is weak. I think this just starts so strong. So the starting point is so far up here that the finish just kind of comes down to where this is. The blast of caramel and vanilla goodness in the front and mid is just so much sweeter and so much tastier than this. Um, this is more of white sugar in the, the beginning, the sweetness, and it's not as strong or pronounced of a sweetness. It burns off quicker and it's just not as enjoyable. Um, I think I had to pay $400 for the Heaven Hill 18. That's, ugh. I'm pretty sure I still like my Parker's Heritage better, but these are good. I'm gonna say, I think I like, I think I prefer the 18. It's just got deeper, richer notes. It's sweeter. Uh, the finish is kind of weak and bitter on it and tobacco-y. Kind of weird um but this 17 is very ashy it doesn't have you know it's white sugar sweetness and the light nut it's just doesn't have the depth and richness and character that the 18 has so uh, it's close i i'd edge over towards this both of these i would not uh, actually both of these are solidly not btac competitors this does not compete with george t stag or wlw definitely not um i don't even think it competes with a good parker's heritage that's just me. Uh, great bottle though, cool case. I mean, are you kidding me? Check this out, it's all about presentation, right? Just like this presentation, Bourbon Forge Fishing. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I hope this helps you if you have to decide between the two at a bar or something, what you like. Thank you very much and take care.